Hello and welcome. I'm Glenn Torres Pellacy, your instructor this year. Thanks for joining me. Hello, my name is Glenn Torres Pellacy, and I will be your instructor this year. I wanted to take this opportunity to introduce myself and to talk a little bit about the course. I'm a lawyer by trade. I worked in New York City at one of the top ranked law firms in the country for about a decade before I transitioned to academia. My practice covered large class action lawsuits, securities litigation, national security policy, human rights, and regulatory investigations. I started teaching at a university in New York in 2008, so I've been doing this for about 15 years now. I have a lot of experience in online education, having done it for more than a decade, so I understand the opportunities and challenges that teaching in an online environment presents. I've also talked with enough students to know what their experiences are like, and I'm aware of the common complaints with online classes. Here's what I believe. I believe that a successful online course has the following four core characteristics. A stable, consistent structure, a high level of instructor engagement, content that reflects real-world experience, and finally, a vibrant student community. In online-only environments, course structure is everything. The most important document, of course, is the syllabus. Read it. My syllabi are detailed not only with respect to what we are studying, but also why we are engaging in certain activities. I spend a lot of time building the course website. Because you will navigate the course from your homes, I need to make sure that you know where you are going. So in my courses, the course flow is clearly laid out from the outset, and the weekly structure remains consistent throughout the semester. You will know what to expect on a week-to-week -week basis, and I think that is particularly important for those that are new to online learning. And if that's you, and you are understandably nervous, I want to reassure you that you can succeed in this course. My intention in building the course was to create an intuitive, easy-to-follow path for students. If you ever have questions or problems interacting with the LMS, ask me. Over my years, I've seen most technical problems and I often have quick and easy solutions. I'm well aware that the number one complaint with respect to online courses is that students feel they are not provided effective guidance by the instructors. They feel alone and isolated as they try to navigate the complicated issues. As a result, I make engaging with my students on a consistent basis a top priority. You will see me, you will hear me, and you will read me. I want you to feel my presence in the online classroom. Now, some of the content depends on the course, but generally speaking, I create my own weekly podcasts, educational videos, and multimedia lectures that help guide you through the topics. I will comment on every single discussion board posting you make, and I try to make my comments meaningful, perhaps offering a different perspective or some areas of further research. You will get detailed, personalized feedback on all of your written assignments. I want my students to understand that I'm an ally. My goal is for you to succeed and complete the course. Now, just because we share that goal, it doesn't mean that the road ahead is easy. The courses I teach are challenging. We address complicated topics with complicated solutions. In order to succeed, you have to make the conscious decision to engage. You have to be the driver of your own education. How you use this opportunity, what skills you build, what knowledge you acquire, your ultimate opinions, that's up to you. Now, I'll be right there throughout the course. Think of me as a sage passenger, suggesting routes, potential stops, and vantage points along the way, maybe sometimes telling you that you took a wrong turn. But ultimately, we both want to read our, reach our destination. And I really want you all to think of this as a journey, and I know that can sound cliche. I guess the current jargon is to encourage a growth mindset. Maybe you've heard the term. Whatever we call it, it's a pretty simple idea. It is the belief that you can get better, that you can improve. Anytime you think to yourself, I don't know how to do that, or I'm not very good at that, make sure you add the word yet. I'm not very good at writing yet. I don't understand this legal concept yet. I don't have an A yet. Because here's the truth, we can all improve, we can all learn. So if you're feeling frustrated and struggling to understand something, remember that word, yet. 
And here's the best advice I can give. Ask me. Have a question? Ask me. Struggling to understand a concept? Ask me. Want to talk about potential careers? Ask me. I'm here to be a resource for you. It's literally what they pay me for. So use me. And I know that question, asking questions can be hard. There's a vulnerability that goes along with it. It's that doubting voice deep inside that tells you that's a bad question. Don't ask it. You'll embarrass us. I mean, I get it. What I want you to know is that's a normal feeling. It's so normal, in fact, that they have a name for it. Imposter syndrome. It's that feeling that you're not smart enough, that you don't belong here, and that if you start asking questions instead of suffering in silence, people are going to discover your secret. I mean, I get it. I've had it too. The first time I took a deposition, the first time I argued in court, or presented at an academic conference. I understand. And if you're starting to have those feelings as you move through the materials in this course or any of your other courses, I want you to know that it doesn't make you weak, and most importantly, it isn't true. You are capable. If you are truly struggling, talk to me. I can try to offer you some perspective based on my personal experiences, or I can direct you to resources offered by the school that can help. So, ask me. The assignments we do, of course, vary based on the course, and you will have details on your syllabus, but let me give you my general philosophy. I try to structure assignments based on common experiences in the professional world. They won't be an exact analog, of course, but I try to base them on things that I encountered during my time in the professional fields. And we do have to do some typical education things like quizzes and tests, but those will be open book, so make sure you use your resources. Well, this is the most difficult thing to build in an online course, since we are all physically separate. It largely depends on you all and your willingness to engage with one another. For my part, I set up numerous discussion forums that allow students to comment on current events, seek career advice, and even share personal stories. One of the most popular community building tools in my experience is the Ask Me Anything thread that I set up where I allow students to ask questions about legal education and legal careers. Hopefully, as you see some of your fellow students posts, you will see some shared interests, and that can help you build support networks for the course. The specific learning objectives for your course are going to be laid out in your syllabus. So make sure that you take the time to read it and understand them. Generally speaking, through all of my courses, I have the same larger objective. I want to work collaboratively with you to help build a better decision-making process, one that allows you to interpret, analyze, and apply complex rules to complicated fact situations. Ultimately, we are going to try to learn to think better and to think more deeply and more comprehensively about the issues. I'm looking forward to this semester with you. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask.